In the last video, we talked about equations as restricting the possible values of the variable. We have a word to refer to those possible values. A solution to an equation is a value of the variable, or if there are several variables, a list of values of the variables that makes the equation true. So in the last video we saw that the equation 1 half times h plus 4 equals 3, that equation is true when h equals 2 and false when h equals 5. So using this new word, 2 is a solution to the equation and 5 is not a solution to the equation. Now when we encounter an equation, very often one of our goals is going to be to find out what all of the solutions are. And we have a word for that as well. To solve an equation means to find all solutions to the equation. Notice that word to solve has one very specific meaning. It's something that we only do to equations. It does not mean generically to do a math problem. It means, given an equation, find out all the solutions. Now, if you want to find out all the solutions to an equation, it helps to know how many there are going to be. I can't tell you in general how many solutions there will be. It depends on the type of equation. But we're going to be primarily concerned for the moment with linear equations. An equation is linear if either it has two linear expressions that it says are equal, or it has one linear expression equaling a number. So for example, 3x plus 4 equals 7, or 2x minus 5 equals 6x plus 8. And in the case where we have a linear equation, I can tell you how many solutions it's going to have. So a linear equation in one variable, so only one letter, has three possible sorts of solutions. Maybe there's no solution. For example, the equation x plus 2 equals x has no solution, because there's no number that when you add 2 to it, you get that number back. Maybe every number is a solution, and those expressions are actually equivalent. For example, 2 times x plus 1 is 2x plus 2. Right? Those expressions are actually equivalent. Just use the distributive property. So that equation is true no matter what the number is. Okay. These are kind of the weird cases. These are not what we expect to see when we write down an equation. What we expect to see when we write down an equation is exactly one solution. So for example, 3x plus 4 equals 7 is true for x equals 1, false for any other number. Right. So that means for a typical linear equation, once you've found one solution, you can be pretty sure that you're done. If you find two solutions, that means that everything's going to be a solution. And if you can't find any solutions, well, maybe there isn't one. But those are the only possibilities. There's never going to be a situation where you have like three possible solutions or 25.